You won't find that on a map. I'll take you there. Take this left. If you listen real hard, you can hear the whales. Oh. Hear that? Our Subaru Outback lets us see the world. <laughs> Sometimes in ways we never imagined. We are getting reports of significant damage now to Panama City, which is not surprising whatsoever because they have been stuck in that eye wall for a couple of hours now at the least. And that's where we have the strongest wind signs uh, have been taken down. Buildings are having structural damage. I want to go now to storm tracker Charles Peake, uh, who is in Panama City. And uh, Charles, give us an idea of the type of damage that you've seen around that area. Yeah. Yes, Steph, I uh, just got back out on the road uh, where it's a little safer uh, after taking shelter. But uh, this is a large sign that uh, toppled over onto this building and obviously opened it up for the wind to do a lot of damage to um, some power lines, uh, trees down, uh, fascia, those types of damage here in Panama City. Uh, uh, but this has been the worst that I've seen so far. But I've just gotten back out on the road. So what was the experience like over the last couple of hours being in those strongest winds? Where did you take shelter? What did it sound like? Were you able to see anything? Yeah, Steph, uh, I came back uh, into that uh, parking deck, uh, the same location you're at uh, during the heaviest part uh, to take shelter there. And again, uh, just uh, left right now to get back out on the road. sort of flooding or has it all been just structural wind damage type of stuff? Uh, I've seen a, a little bit of minor street flooding, but uh, nothing that uh, just in low-lying areas that I've seen so far. Uh, but as far as the major road right here, it's more in some places than dangling uh, power lines, but the roads are, are, are passable as far as a flooding perspective. So what is it like then right now? Because we're still seeing some stronger gusts, but nothing like we saw, say, hour, hour and a half ago, perhaps. What has the wind been like for you guys, and what are you experiencing right now? We're getting some of those strong gusts at time, but again, uh, nothing like what we were experiencing about uh, an hour ago when uh, the landfall was, uh, we were getting the western side of that uh, landfall. But uh, we do get some pretty strong gusts at that time, so I'm still being very careful of uh, uh, debris and stuff that might get picked up with those guys. Have you seen anybody else around, or has everyone uh, stayed in foot? Uh, right now, I have been the only vehicle I've seen on the road here uh, uh, at this point in time. All right, Charles, we're certainly going to check back with you. We're glad you're safe. You're glad we're okay. Um, and we'll check back in with you a little bit later. Now, remember that Panama City had a gust to 116 miles an hour before the equipment failed. Um, you know, Jim, that's part of the problem. The equipment fails, and you can no longer get wind gusts. And so they have to go back after and, you know, perhaps look at the damage. They know what kind of wind strength can do that. You uh, left me a while ago. You were on the beach. Where are you now, and what have you seen since we last spoken? Yeah, we just we just came around uh, and got inside for a second, step to, to kind of get everybody out uh, of this for a little bit. You know, it's it's been it's been rough back there. We've taken some 80, 90 plus mile hour gusts on the other side of this building. Uh, almost blew a few of us in the pool, uh, believe it or not. So you know, it's still gusty, but it has come down a little bit. No question about that. I think you were talking about this um, right now. My IFB is because I have an AT&T phone. All right, so the IFB is on AT&T, uh, but my cell phone is if Verizon. So it's down right now. I have no service on Verizon uh, at this time. So, you know, I'm trying to get information. I'm trying to look at the radar and things like that, and I can't do that because I don't have any data. But either way, obviously, we, we, we both know this storm was going to come in and it was going to start pulling away. I keep looking at the hurricane flags, and by the way, uh, they're still howling down the beach. We still got a, a, a wind that's parallel on this beach, so it's kind of northwest a little bit. Because if you think about Panama City, you've got the Emerald Coast that goes like this, then you start going down toward Panama City. Our winds are paralleling like this, uh, the coastline right now. 
All right, just, they're paralleling the coastline right now. The good news is I wanted to share it with everybody because I can see back here is the beaches have held up very well where we are on Panama City Beach. Uh, the dunes have held in most places. Yes, there's been some wash, and some of this has, has washed away, but not a lot. I have not seen a breach uh, out to the street where Stephanie is, at least where we are. But again, remember, we're not out here roaming around a mile up and down the street. There certainly could be spots that have dealt with that, and I can guarantee you the farther south we go, where the winds and the water were higher because you were on the east side of the storm, uh, that may be a whole different story. All right? Uh, so again, guys, we're coming down a little bit. I can stand out here pretty good now. My cameraman, Brad, doesn't have to be held. Uh, it, it was, it, I'm telling you, I don't even know how we brought you this shot. We literally had one person holding the tripod, all right? And my, my producer, Steve Pederak, was like this, holding my cameraman, Brad Reynolds, back so, so that he could, we could just have the camera up. So it was just howling back here. Unbelievable. But we had some structural damage, but it's all, you know, it's some of the plastic fencing. Uh, but nothing that can't be repaired quickly here. We've lost power. Uh, let's see, Macedo sent me a text. Uh, 172 before my cell phone went down. 172,000 customers in Florida without power at this point. I expect certainly that number to climb in Georgia. You're going to be in on this as well. So Waycross, Albany, Georgia. We've got some issues here still uh, with wind damage and possibly even some tornadoes. Let's go back to the studios in Atlanta to talk about that. Rick? Uh, thanks, Jim. I'll take it from here. We've got a tornado warning for Bradford and Clay County. This is outside the storm here. Fast moving system in Keystone Heights with a couplet here. Tease take shelter right now. Interior room until this passes. You know what I'm thinking? Why not use it? I mean, we're talking about six trillion dollars here. That's a whole lot of cash out there. People are just sitting on. Many older Americans are in a tough spot right now. They just don't have enough savings to get by. It's their biggest concern. They could be our family, our friends. And then there's that $6 trillion. That's the amount retired homeowners have already paid into their homes. It comes down to an average of more than $200,000 per senior household. So why not use a reverse mortgage loan to access that equity. Find out more. Call us today to receive a free information kit complete with a DVD presented by Tom Selleck. The kit will help you understand more about a reverse mortgage, decide if it's right for you, and the simple ways you need to qualify. Call 1-800-966-8281. A reverse mortgage loan from AAG uses your built-up home equity to give you cash now and when you need it in the future. Pay it back when it works for you or in one lump sum when you leave the home. Call now for a free, no obligation information kit to find out how a reverse mortgage loan can pay for living expenses, medical bills, even credit card bills. Call 1-800-966-8281. I know what you're thinking. Why me? And why AAG? Well, I've done my homework. And I know how dedicated AAG is to helping retirees in a caring, ethical way. I trust them. I think you can too. If you're 62 or older and own your home, the info kit will show you how to access your home's equity to give you cash when you need it. It'll eliminate those monthly mortgage payments and give you the extra money to renovate the home or pay off bills. Call 1-800-966-8281. At the dinner table, nobody talks about football. I like to teach them there's more important things in life. My name is Ted Ginn. I eat Stouffer's lasagna, and I hunger to coach athletes into men. Stouffer's, what are you hungry for? You never forget your first race. And you never back down from the next. There's luggage that falls apart and luggage that costs more than a plane ticket. Now, there's something new. The perfect suitcase. Meet away, thoughtfully designed luggage that charges your phone, fits everything and never breaks, and lasts forever. Try any suitcase for 100 days. Visit awaytravel.com. Rockies is your source for everything crafty. The number one trusted tool brand in America. Craftsman, cutting edge products for every task. Hand and power tools, storage, 
and garage door openers. Our friendly and knowledgeable team members know everything about Craftsman. And for outdoors, Rockies and Craftsman has everything you need to keep your yard a cut above the rest. Rockies Ace Hardware, your neighborhood hardware store since 1926. A lot of things can change in an investigation, but the weather never lies. Storm of Suspicion. All new episodes, Sunday nights at 8. Currently in our area, 85 degrees under mostly cloudy skies. This afternoon, partly cloudy with a slight chance of thunderstorms. High, 87. Chance of rain, 30%. Tonight, some clouds. Low, 77. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Thursday, thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. High, 90. Chance of rain, 80%. Here's our seven day outlook. The strongest October hurricane on record coming ashore near Mexico Beach just a, a little over an hour ago. And of course, the wind with it. Winds gusting to over 150 miles per hour as recorded by the Hurricane Hunter aircraft. So just incredible wind uh, with this thing. Uh, winds have gusted on land uh, over 120 miles an hour, in some cases almost 130 miles per hour. And one of the most amazing things that I've seen happen with the ocean, I will talk about in just a moment, but I want to take you down to my east a little bit. Uh, this is an area that probably got into the worst part of the western eye wall, and that is Panama City. All right, so they had the western eye wall, and you can see some of the damage to structures here. We do have some roof damage. So this is about five, six miles off to my east a little bit, all right? And we've had damage to signs. We've had ponding on the roads. The palm trees are obviously still swaying here as our winds are out of the north, northwest now uh, on the backside of Michael as it continues to move ashore and head across the Florida Panhandle. So we're not out of the woods yet. As a matter of fact, it's the east side that possesses some of the worst damage with uh, not only storm surge, but also severe weather. Let's go back to the studios. Dr. Erica Navarro, uh, give us an update on that tornado warning. Yeah, thanks so much, Jim. We do have a tornado warning uh, near Gainesville, Florida, here in the extreme outer bands of Michael as it's coming on shore. Uh, it's a storm here moving north at about 35 miles per hour. Uh, you can see a cell here in the Keystone Heights and Stark area. This includes Bradford and Clay County until 3.15 p.m. Eastern time. This is likely going to be happening throughout the day today as the outer bands of Michael make their way on shore. Looking at the latest scan here, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing terribly impressive at this time, but nonetheless, please take shelter in the Stark and uh, Gainesville area until that storm passes. Uh, likely some very strong winds here and a storm moving quickly. We're still under the extreme wind warning as well uh, near Bay Calhoun and Gulf County, including Bristol and Panama City. This, of course, with the eye wall of Hurricane Michael as it's coming on shore. You want to treat this exactly the same as a tornado warning here. Please hunker down, take shelter in an interior room. Do not try to go outside. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation here, all to the south of I-10 in this area as that core of Hurricane Michael uh, is coming on shore. We do have a tornado watch issued uh, ac across portions of the Big Bend of Florida here. This goes until 5 o'clock Eastern time, but a new tornado watch now issued for much of southern and central Georgia, uh, parts of eastern Florida, and of course the Panhandle as well. Note this time here goes through the evening into the early hours of the morning, 2 o'clock a.m. Eastern time. We could expect to see those strong winds and potentially that threat for tornadoes moving into Georgia overnight tonight. Uh, so, Jim, unfortunately, this is a threat we have to face, but that core of circulation hasn't really spun down yet. That core still looks fairly impressive on the radar. Jim? Yeah, it, that, that's, that's the whole thing. We talked about that. You, you've got a storm that was deepening upon landfall, and it's not just going to disappear. 
So even though it sees land, all the properties and the atmospherics that went into deepening it didn't just go away. So that's why it takes so much longer uh, for this thing to wind down. One of the most amazing things I've ever seen happen in my 98 hurricane uh, and tropical storm and depressions that I've covered has happened with this storm. This morning, our winds were out of the east, all right? So our current, our current on the ocean, so Brad, you can zoom in here, was essentially going from this direction to that direction. Now, again, on the backside of the storm, with our winds kind of out of the northwest, it has literally turned the entire ocean current around, all right? And all that water is heading off to the east because of the west wind. That is amazing. So that's how the wind drives the water, and all that water is heading down toward Chris Warren, uh, where he still has a south wind. Let's check in with him. Chris Warren, you've already set a record surge in Apalachicola. I haven't talked to you or heard from you in a while, buddy. Uh, yeah. Is the water still coming up? Is it holding its own? And what kind of wind are you seeing there, uh, increasing, decreasing, holding its own? It, the wind is uh, decreasing a bit. It's still pretty strong. The rain's not as heavy. And I think uh, as far as the surge goes, uh, I think it's pretty much holding steady. In fact, the wind, I think, is a little bit more uh, westerly now. It's coming from the west and heading to the east. And we can see that right here. And, and the other thing you haven't heard from me in a while is we moved our locations. We came up and we're now on top of what was our cover a little bit earlier. And so this wind here is blowing perpendicular to the Apalachicola River. So this is coming what would be, I mean, we're basically over the river right now, but this uh, would be coming over the western shore. So we're getting it moving away, and it looks like, you know, you have waves uh, that are, you know, being pushed uh, toward where the river should be. However, you're not really seeing anything significant as far as uh, w water rises or the water receding at all. In fact, uh, still looking at the direction from the, uh, we're looking down the direction uh, of the bay and then eventually way out there, uh, way under the, the white horizon in there is uh, where the Gulf of Mexico is. And we're still seeing what appears to be swells coming upstream. Uh, again, the uh, Apalachicola River should be flowing from left to right, but look at the, the movement of the water. Uh, and it has that look of going right to left, which would still be south to north. And the threat for stronger winds is now moving inland. And here at the Weather Channel, we have you covered with Hurricane Michael. Watch how this touchless makeup appears to erase flaws like magic. You're going to see it just disappear. You see that? Gone. People are leaving ordinary foundation for this miracle breakthrough because it seemingly wipes away years in seconds. This is the all-new Luminous Silk by Luminous Air. It's unlike anything you've used before. Luminous Silk is the only way you'll get full luminous coverage that instantly makes you look 10 years younger. Just a few drops of silk makeup in the airbrush, a touch of the button, and silk goes on smooth with a controlled mist of air. It's that easy. You'll use up to 10 times less makeup than liquid foundations applied with your fingers. So instead of exaggerating wrinkles and pores, Luminous Silk gives you full, proper coverage that also makes you look dramatically younger. There's no way I'm going back to traditional makeup. Luminous Silk is incredibly priced to try for just $29.95, but we're celebrating our 20th anniversary. Call or go online right now and use the special coupon code to get a full 33% savings. Luminous Silk is yours to try for just $19.95. You'll also get free shipping. That is a ridiculous price to get this kind of result. And free shipping? That's incredible. You get our newest state-of-the-art airbrush that's handcrafted with care with a two-year warranty and features the exclusive self-cleaning no-mess tip. Plus our all-new 4-in-1 Silk Airbrush Foundation, customized to your skin tone from a wide range of shades using our proprietary color match system. Unlike anything you've used before, Silk combines anti-aging skin care, hydrating moisturizer, high coverage concealer and non-creasing foundation all in one. Silk has important ingredients to take care of the skin as you're applying your makeup. I use it myself. I really feel confident recommending it to my patients. Plus, you'll also receive Luminous Love 
2-in-1 highlighter and bronzer and simply blush for a complete silk finish. But we're not done. When you order Luminous Silk in the next minute, we'll include three more premium free gifts. You get our Luminous Six Color Lip Creme Palette, Four Color Nude and Naughty Eye Palette, plus Volumizing Flutter Lash Mascara. Together, a $64 value. They're yours free for ordering now. Once you try this product, I am telling you, you will never go back to using your department store brand. With our hassle-free 30-day money-back guarantee, if you don't love your beautiful airbrush results, just return it for a full refund with no hassles, no questions asked. Airbrush makeup's been a game changer for me. Thank you, Luminous, for giving me back some time and giving me a makeup that makes me look flawless. Truly, I never thought that I would have such a passion for makeup that I do now, and it's all because of this one amazing system. This limited time offer is not available in stores, so don't wait. To order Luminous Silk, call 1-800-347-0231 or go online to trysilk.com. Order now. channel we have new video just in the weather channel panama beach uh city, panama city beach sorry about that with just the ferocious wind and the rain we got it here for a while uh you know i mean at least an hour and a half and we had stronger gusts and then it would back off and then stronger gusts and back off where we are here in panama city beach the only damage that we've seen is um the roof that we've been showing you of the hotel that we're near uh that roof has been torn apart a little bit but other than that you know, maybe some signage here and there, but I cannot report any significant, significant damage like they are seeing in Panama City. Uh, Charles Peak, he's our storm tracker there, and he has been driving around. He talked about a sign that had been down on a building uh, that did cause some damage, and now just power lines down, um, over 190,000 people without power, and that number is going to go up exponentially because this is moving inland. And these storms are never, ever a coastal thing. This one is certainly not going to be just a coastal thing as it's still holding together. Now, we are having some issues out here, as you can imagine, with cell towers and getting information and whatnot. So I want to bring in a hurricane expert, Dr. Nab, to talk more about Dr. Nab. What is the latest with this hurricane? I unfortunately haven't had a chance uh, due to technology going down to get a good look at, you know, is that pressure coming up? Are those winds starting to drop? And what do people inland have to worry about most? Well, the, the winds have not come down very much. The pressure's only come up slightly. We're still dealing with a menacing, catastrophic Category 4 hurricane moving through inland areas of the central Florida panhandle, uh, moving north-northeast at 15 miles per hour. So that forward motion being that fast is good news for the coastal areas that conditions will improve over the next couple of hours. But it also means that you got to take shelter very, very quickly in these inland areas uh, like you would for a tornado. And I want to show you where that extreme wind warning is still uh, valid and in effect. And you know, this is a, a relatively new product, a new warning from the National Weather Service that basically tells you to shelter like you would for a tornado because we have the sustained winds of a major hurricane about to do tornado-like damage in your community. So this is still in effect uh, for the next 15 minutes and could very well uh, get extended. Uh, I'm sorry, no, this is, this is in effect even longer than that. This will be in effect till 3.15 Central Time. Uh, and this will be uh, conveying to the public that you need to be taking shelter in the most interior room and doing all the things you would if you were about to get a direct hit from a tornado. Uh, you can put helmet on. You can cover yourself with a mattress, get into the bathtub, the most interior room you can. And let me show you uh, where this is most likely to be the worst, okay? So here's the eye of the hurricane centered just east of Youngstown, Florida, along Highway 231 that goes northeastward out of the Panama City area. And then here is the Bristol and Bluntstown area. They are just about to get the strongest winds that they're going to get, but places like Willis and Sink Creek, it's not going to be too much longer uh, before you receive uh, these strong winds. And so this extreme wind warning goes all the way up to near Interstate 10. So that's an indication of just how far inland the major hurricane force winds are extending. And, and Dr. Navarro, we've also got uh, tornadoes that are occurring far away 
from the center of circulation. Yeah, uh, per, quite far away. We have a new tornado warning here down in Sarasota. This is well away from the center uh, of Michael at this time. This includes Manatee and Sarasota County here uh, until uh, it looks like uh, 3.15 p.m. Eastern time as well. This is that cell coming across 301 right at this time. And if you look down at the radar, there is an indication of rotation here, a radar-indicated rotation with this cell as it's coming on shore. This is just to the north of Sarasota here, about to cross over, uh, looks like Highway 41, and continue to move off to the north and east. These are very fast-moving cells. Uh, they move uh, about 35 miles per hour plus at times. Uh, very quick spin-ups that we're likely going to be facing throughout the day today as Michael continues to move on shore. Well to the north here, uh, 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 well to the southeast of uh, south and west of Jacksonville, we have Bradford and Clay County here, under also under tornado warning until 3.15 p.m. Eastern time. This cell here is north of Keystone Heights, uh, just to the north and east of the Stark area. We've seen some radar-indicated rotation, and there may be some very strong winds packed in here. This uh, over Highway 301 right now, we're not seeing that... Uh, uh, tight recouplet right now on the radar, but uh, that does not mean the storm cannot regenerate that circulation or have the potential to produce a tornado. These are fast, very quick spin-ups of storms here. They're often obscured by rainfall. So please, if you find yourself under a warning, take shelter. We are under a tornado watch across much of Georgia here, central and southern Georgia, and much of northeast Florida, as well as the panhandle of Florida through this evening tonight. Uh, this goes until 2 a.m. Eastern time. So, Steph, uh, we've got a lot to watch out for. We've got the wind, of course, the rain, the surge. The, these impacts are only beginning right now, and unfortunately, it's going to be with us for quite some time. Steph? It is for those inland. Now, things, as you can see, are improving where I am. Now, here's something that's interesting. You know, we have all this technology, so we can see the radar. Well, our technology is starting to fail out here due to cell towers going down. We have no Verizon service out here. We have AT&T service, uh, so we have minimal technology. But what I can tell you is just from going back to the books, from what you basically learn in meteorology, I can tell you where the storm is located because of our wind direction. Our winds had been, you know, out of the north and northwest. They're now basically out of the west. I can show it to you. Sorry, Mark, to do this to you. Photox hate when you just do this real quick. I want to show you the cranes up here. Do you notice how they're pointing towards me now? They are pointing towards the east. So that means the wind is coming from the west pushing these cranes. Now, remember, when we started, those cranes were facing south, essentially. And we saw them turn a little bit, and now we've seen them turn. So I know that this hurricane is to my north because of the counterclockwise spin. We are getting that, that west wind, all right? Let's now go off to my north and east into Panama City. We have Charles Peak, who is joining us on the phone. Charles, I know you've been driving around now. Uh, tell us the type of damage you've seen as they sat in that eye wall for a while in Panama City. Uh, a lot of structural damage, uh, awnings blown off, uh, signs blown down, uh, power lines. Uh, have to make a lot of detours to go around uh, power lines that are either down in the road or low, uh, so low hanging that you, you can't pass. So. Uh, making it difficult to get around at this point in time but uh, so far not seeing you know just widespread tremendous damage here in this location right now 